Hello, I'm Nick, and welcome to Bourbon Distilled, episode number seven, an introduction to allocated bourbons via Bell Mead single barrel 12 year old. In this video, we'll do an introduction to Bell Mead whiskey and specifically their 12 year old single barrel bourbon. And in doing so, we'll explain what allocated bourbons are introduce the Bell Mead line of products, as well as the Nelson's Greenbrier Distillery of Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, then we'll taste the Bell Mead 12 year old, and as is our custom, we'll then taste Old Granddad Bottle and Bond and compare the two. So, now, what are allocated bourbons? What this practically means is these are harder to find, highly sought after bottles of bourbon. Not all allocated bourbons are created equal. Some are easier to come by than others. Uh, sometimes you'll find them on the shelf for the ones that are less um, limited in release. Whereas others, you'll have to wait in line for days sometimes on release day or ahead of release day or have really strong relationships with someone in the industry. Some examples of bourbons that you probably have heard of that are allocated are the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection products, as well as Pappy Van Winkle. For a liquor store, what this means is generally the more cases of liquor that they buy from a particular distributor or from the parent spirits company, the more access they'll get to allocated bottles of bourbon. So, now an introduction to Nelson's Greenbrier and Bell Mead. Bell Mead is a historic plantation in the Nashville area, which has now actually turned into a city within Nashville, a separate city within Nashville, known as Bell Mead, on the south side of town. Bell Mead Plantation was famous in the late 1800s for its racehorses internationally acclaimed racehorse Iroquois specifically and a Iroquois is a horse from which most thoroughbred racehorses today can trace their lineage back to and what goes together better than racehorses and bourbon Bell Mead started offering bourbon in modern times around 2012 and they engaged Nelson's Greenbrier distillery to do so Nelson's Greenbrier Distillery uh, was restarted in Nashville, Tennessee uh, around the same time. And we'll do an episode on them later in their line of products that they're worthy of an entire episode. The early products from Bell Mead, uh, including the one we're going to taste today, were bottled by Nelson's Greenbrier Distillery, but they were distilled by our friends at Midwest Grain Products, or MGP, out of Lawrenceburg, Indiana. The Bell Mead line of products that I'm going to read from the list uh, today includes Bell Mead Bourbon, Bell Mead Reserve, Bell Mead Bourbon Single Barrel, which we're going to taste today. I've seen a 10 year and a 12 year version. Today's is a 12 year. Sherry Cask Finish, Cognac Cask Finish, Madeira Cask Finish, Honey Cask Finish, and then the Craftsman Cask Collection. The mash bill for the bourbon today is 64% corn, 30% rye, and 6% malted barley. And this is going to be one of the higher corn content mash bill bourbons that we've tasted so far. Uh, the bottle we're drinking today comes from a limited to release of 25 barrels. It is bottled at a cask strength of 102.3 proof. Cask strength just means that no water is added after the bourbon is uh, dumped from the barrel and before it goes into bottling. So this is straight from the barrel, uh, if you will. Uh, it's also called barrel proof uh, in other products and it roughly means the same thing. Uh, it's unlikely you're going to find this particular bottle on the shelf. Um, that's just part of being an allocated uh, limited to release bourbon. When I bought it, the MSRP was around $100. Uh, but it appears that they now go for several hundred, 
even north of five hundred dollars. Uh, it seems. Here's what the bottle looks like. You'll see uh, all the Bell Mead products I have seen at least have the same bottle shape and, and similar labels, so the colors do vary. And you see, this is hand labeled with the proof, the barrel. Barrel date, which is uh, October 12, 2006, and the barrel number. I've actually never had this whiskey, so I'm excited to try it. So let's get to that. This has got a foil and a paper seal. Um, which, there's the wire to strip it. That off and it appears to be a synthetic cork. Hmm. Well, let's see what we can smell. It's kind of sweet smelling, which is a little surprising with all the corn. But yeah, definitely some sweetness. Almost fruity sweetness smell. On a deep draft, you get some alcohol, but not that bad. Um, yeah, it's kind of sweet and tobacco-y smelling, like a pipe tobacco-y. Sweet smell. Um, you know, almost honey. Um, yeah, quite a lot to work through there. The nose is somewhat complex is, is the taste across your palate. Definitely get warmth going down the back of your palate. Kind of that dryness of the alcohol hitting your tongue on the middle of your palate. Sweetness definitely up front. Definitely oak. You can taste the oak on the front of your tongue. But yeah, it's really just a good warmth. The kind of tobacco-y sweetness that's in the nose, I don't get as much across my palate. And though I know this is not a cask finish, which is often the list of products Belmead likes to do, cask finishes and old wine barrels, I think it's I think it's the oak that I'm tasting that kind of reminds me of um, oak, but it also mixed with some fruitiness in the in the flavor that kind of reminds me of some wines. I mean, it doesn't taste like a wine, obviously much higher proof and more other flavors, but there's a element to the taste and to the what I'm getting that reminds me of the oak and grape kind of mixture that you get with wine. Really pretty good. Now let's try Old Granddad. Proof wise, these are very similar, both around 100. Now, Old Granddad, as we know, has much more rye in it than the Bell Mead we just tasted. and also costs $25. And again, I get uh, more buttery smell on the Old Granddad. A 
Less complex. Similar heat. Less. Kind of bold uh, on all the flavors. But again, that spice that's, you know, we've talked about before with this. Both very good. I think I would say that Generally, I like Nelson's Greenbrier's products. Again, we'll do a full episode on them here uh, shortly, uh, including their Tennessee whiskey, which is a story in its own right. And this bottle of Bell Mead, it's made by MGP, but bottled by Nelson's. Uh, I do like it as well. Um, first time I've had it. But again, for a daily drinker, I'm still going to go with Old Granddad Bottle of Bond. The Bell Mead 12 year, you can't find it. And if you do, it's probably going to cost you several hundred dollars at this point. Versus All Granddad, easily easily found in most liquor stores, at least for me, and runs about $25. Again, my plan is to keep these short, around five minutes, and to get them posted by Thursday noon, so that if you're shopping for the weekend, you can learn about a new bottle before heading to the store. For the next episode, we're going to do an introduction to store picks or barrel picks. And I haven't quite decided which bottle we're going to do, so stay tuned. And in closing, I will do my best to keep things simple. When I do use vernacular that is specific to the bourbon world, I will break it down into common terms. In other words, I will work to create bourbon distilled. Thank you for watching, and until next time, cheers.